Mohan Hoxon. Hi, good morning. I'd like to start off with a story. Everybody good with the story? Yes. All right. My best friend uh, asked him, uh, the son of my best friend asked him that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My best friend asked his son, sabi niya, anak, marunong ka bang umakyat ng puno? And the son goes, yes, dad. Sabi nung, nung best friend ko, how is that possible? I haven't seen you climb one. And he goes, that's easy. You just Google it. <laughs> that's a story. <laughs> I think, I think my best friend posted, a, a rather posed the, the wrong question. And pretty much, I think we are in an era, a disruptive era, where technology has it, poses its own challenges. And at the same time, a lot and create a lot of opportunities. We are in the habit of looking down. I think that the, the strongest part of the body now would be the pointer finger. Would you agree? Yes. From age, probably two, all the way to generation Y, of which most of you are. I think you are the, who's, who's uh, below 35 here? Can you raise your hand? There, that's <laughs> what no? Lalo na yun. So, I guess uh, it goes without saying that with all this data that we have, we know that we are in the age of the internet. And what is this, uh, how would this challenge and how would this be aligned to what Camp N is all about? Uh, have you heard of 21st century learning skills? Because of technology, for schools and for the workplace, there's such a thing as um, 21st century learning. Now what is this all about? This is about creativity and innovation. This is about communication and collaboration. And most of all, this is about critical thinking and problem solving. And I guess this is what Camp N is all about. Because we're so invaded, there, there, there's a shift of concept and frameworks. Like for, for information, who, who belongs to the social media here? I'd, I'd, I'd like to know. There you go. That's more of me. Right now, with mass media, Communication is only one way. Social media right now, we create the news and we share the news and instantly we get feedback from what we report. The concept of play has changed as well. From thrill-based, I think it's more of skills-based right now. Right? Sabi nila, after you go through a roller coaster, that's it. Sandbox experience was great. We learned from Sandbox as well. Another good project for Yala. What we learned from there was that the, mo the most in-demand attraction is that place over there, the area walk. More than the zip line, more than the chance wing. Why? The millennials are using that to hone their skills. And that's amazing. That's the most demanding attraction, and you should try that. And this is where the difference of trail and skill comes in. How come the young people, your generation, are more focused or are rather aligning themselves to hone their skills. No arrow kasi yung time ni carry probably time din ni John versus John Estacio. No time. We used to <laughs> we used to play out in the streets. Have you tried that? Yeah. Playing out. Ngayon kasi everybody is into indoors. So nawawala ng playground. The concept of space as well from the traditional sports all the way to this. I think Mr. Estacio has um, pretty much explained that Novali caters to practically they have 35 kilometers of bike trail etc. It's all outdoors. And a camp, <laughs> this is the uh, well, this is the denotative meaning, meaning of a camp. But a camp, you go into a camp to discover something. You, you, you go to a camp to develop yourself, isn't it? Right? And a camp, like if you're at Duterte camp, uh, probably you, you, you hate criminals, right? If you're a Po camp, uh, you, you are quite unsure about your citizenship. Anyway, don't uh, If you're the Binay camp, 
let's get on to the next slide. <laughs> so, Campani's position as an incubator. Simply wrong. an incubator. You go inside and develop yourself. The valley is so replete with so many activities that probably there's still a space, a segment, where the young ones are about to start and discover themselves. Mountain biking, for instance. Dami pung technical trail dito. 35 kilometers, can you imagine? But probably, probably, if we build a track for beginners who wants to learn and take their first padyak, it will be Camp N. So, Camp N is all about that. It's an incubator for people who'd like to discover themselves. Pursue healthy living. So here we have the avatar. Uh, this is in the Adventure Tower. This is the avatar one zip line. We have two of that. The rappel and climbing wall. I think you, most of you have... Do you have your passports ready? Yeah. Yes? Right? And as I've said, um, there will be future skills-based. We're more of skills-based here. Like the trail and running. Trail running and biking trail. Right over there in front of the pop-up store. Um, have you heard of the Strider bike for kids? Yung bike na walang pedal will be uh, building one right over there. And around the camp will be where the beginner adult bike trail will be. Further at the rear, we're going to have our art and meditation for those people. You know, Navali has, um, I've heard Navali has 6,000 residents already. Can you imagine that these young families will have children, etc. And this is exactly the place where they will play and they, where they will, will learn. The camping grounds is right over there. I think we can, pretty much we can accommodate 250 to around 400 uh, participants. And there. That's my story. Oh, by the way, I'd like to end my story with this. Yung pong, yung pong anak ng best friend ko na nagtanong, wala niyo kung anong edad. He's a senior college student in UPD Levan. Thank you and enjoy your stay in Campen.